do what I wanted to do. And um, I think there were a lot of people, I, I think in, in England, they have what's called the tall poppy syndrome where, you know, because I always had my dream to be there, to be, to, to come to America. It was always the blue chip, <laughs> kind of like the gold right. standard. Right, right. Even on vacations, like Disneyland was always the gold right. standard. Sure, sure, yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, I always, I always dreamt of being there and it's kind of that thing where it's, it's out there. It's never really going to happen. And then uh, I pursued it. I, you know, I went in for Black Hawk Down, yeah. and I got the I got the role, and uh, and that was really a massive turning point right. in my life. Black Hawk Down is an incredible movie. Um, I'll tell you, I, I'll show you a picture later when we're done. But um, my infantry battalion, I was with the First Battalion, Fifth Marines, and uh, we were part of the initial invasion into Iraq. Eventually, later on, we would be the battalion that went into Baghdad. So we're in the Battle of Baghdad, and and just an incredible day. And um, I had watched Black Hawk Down probably five times <laughs> before that. Uh, I mean, like sitting in the theater sweating, like like so worked up because of some of the scenes there. And then we did several battle studies and read the books and, and did you know, these big sand table exercises based on Black Hawk Down. So I was so familiar with the ski maneuver and who was involved and what was happening and all that. When we went into Baghdad, uh, we ended up in the streets, downtown Baghdad, some of the streets were blocked off with tires and other things. And I remember in the middle of the fight having a thought, this happened in, in, in Black Hawk Down. This happened in Somalia. Mm. And those battle studies we had done and watching the movies, it, it, it's, it's crazy how it all just kind of comes together at a point. But um, I f I've always felt like I had a personal connection with that movie because of that event and what that meant to me. But... Yeah, what an incredible thing to be a part of. Well, an it's incredible funny, story to tell. Yeah, and I mean, it, and and on the flip side, that's what made me have such a connection to the the military here. You know, I mean, we we um, I didn't know anything about the army rangers. I didn't yeah. know. Uh, I didn't know anything about. Like most people, they they weren't aware of of that battle. Yeah. And uh, you know, we went over there, and I, th this is the thing. The thing that that changed my life was we were uh, we were doing. Um, room clearance because we, we did what they call uh, ranger orientation they were like it is not rip do not say it is rip i'm like don't rip okay and like, ranger it's orientation, orientation yeah. and here's a funny thing about to tell you guys about this is so funny because i was like okay we've got the hind tight right we're gonna we, you know we're gonna get into character and then they put us in uh desert fatigues and everyone else was in greens right and we're walking around like uh and everyone was like we were square bashing everyone was walking into one another like it was kind of funny but but i, I was sitting outside and I took it really seriously, yeah. like really seriously, yeah. and and um, so I asked one of the there was a ranger sitting there, and he must have been like twenty years old. Uh, How old were you at the time? I was like twenty five, okay. I think. So yeah. what was funny was in the movie, if you watch the movie, the the, the ranger guys are all around like eighteen, nineteen. Mm -hmm. the, the guys that played those yep. guys, and and the older guys played the Delta guys were were. Older, yeah. you know, 35, yeah. 40 years yeah. old, like Bill Fickner and Eric and, and all those guys. And I was right in the middle because I, I was 25, which was more towards the older, but I looked like a, uh, I had a baby face, right, so they, sure. they stopped me with the younger, younger guys, yeah. which was really interesting. So I was outside and I was talking to this guy and, and, and I said, so tell me, why did you, you know, I was being an actor and getting into character. <laughs> I said, why did you join the army? And he just, he just turned around to me and he said, for freedom. And it was like someone went, boom, just like smacked me in the face. You and weren't was, expecting that answer. I just never heard it. I'd never heard anyone say that. Because in Europe, it's like, oh, Americans, freedom, freedom fries, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, really? and they mock it, sure. right? I, I never mocked Which it. Which is why they don't have it. Exa no, it's absolutely true. They trivialize it right. and they don't have it. They right. don't value it, right? And, when, and I looked at this guy and, and you know, when we're, we're actually in the middle of, Earlier on that day, we'd been doing uh, a couple of exercises, and the, it was the days of the pages, yeah. right? And, and the pages went off, and they went, "Oh, we just bombed Iraq, right?" And it was it was uh, one of the bombings over there. They, I think, they'd taken something out. Anyway, so 9/11 hadn't happened yet. Yeah, sure. And I looked at him and I said, uh, it, it, "It was just, just you know, when you get a moment of clarity." Yeah. And I went, "You'd die for me, wouldn't you?" And he just went, "Yes, sir." And I'm like, this is the greatest country in the world. These are the greatest. These are the best of us. Mm. And I, I, I want to just do anything I can around these guys. I want to become a better person. I want to. I want to know everything there is about this country where someone is willing to go and die for me. They don't know me. 
but they value my freedom enough that they would go and die for me. I just thought that is just, just the most mind blowing thing that I'd ever heard. And, and, and it, I just, I was dazed, you know, I just walked away from that. And I'm like, I have to know everything about this country. I have to know everything about these guys and I will do anything I can for them. And then 9-11 happened yeah. and it was just like quadrupling down on that. You know, these, I saw these guys going, I'm going to go and fight. I'm going to go and fight. I'm going to go and fight. I'm going to, and, and it was just amazing to me. Yeah. And also I remember just seeing flags when I flew back in after September 11th, one of the most incredible things, every house, even in the communist state of California <laughs> had flags right. outside yeah. their, their houses. And I just loved it. Like this, this just embracing of the fact that this is the greatest country on the planet. I, I loved it. Yeah. I just, uh, it, and there's a freedom to that as well.